Hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This reading is for Capricorn for the week of September the 2nd to the 8th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn Moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart, so I get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website, and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the four of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, what's coming towards you, the five of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, what you are focused on is the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, in your blocked and challenged position is the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and your outcome, beautiful, the fool, major arcana for Aries. Okay, Capricorn, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, it says leadership. It speaks of charismatic, warrior, leader, somebody who motivates and inspires other. Or you feel really fired up and motivated and inspiring a situation or somebody does this to you, vice versa. That's also passion, excitement, enthusiasm, creativity, marching to the beat of your own drum. Or you could be taking on some kind of leadership role because in your blocked and challenged position is the king of swords. And this could be like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney, like something is on hold. It could also be a move or relocation because the four of wands speaks of your home and foundation, your stability. And something is testing your patience. Four of Wands is also getting together with friends, family, loved ones, reuniting. You could also be invited to go somewhere. You might be a little bit sensitive at this time or shy. I'm getting a really shy energy off that Queen of Cups. Let's see what this Four of Wands is. Like wanting to free up your time or something about a contract. And this could be work and career, like taking on some kind of new leadership role. And the Empress, beautiful energy. Major Arcana for Taurus Libra. This is about feeling at home, nurturing and nourishing your body, looking after your health, wealth, and happiness. But it speaks of that Venus energy. So being very receptive to help and support or you just feel very supported at this time it speaks of mother or giving birth to your dreams but this is about the seed has already been planted so this speaks of like creativity abundance being out in nature or you just have somebody very like shy and sensitive and loving caring around you for some of you, you want to be freed up from some kind of commitment, though. Or do your own thing. Having some kind of glow up. Or there's a glow to you. Yeah, because you have that leadership down below. And there's, like, some kind of final decision or facts that haven't come out yet. And it might be testing your patience. So, you know, leading back in that feminine energy is the birth of creation. So that's where you're going to get your best ideas, maybe at home. Five of Wands of what's coming towards you could be competition or somebody is competing for your time and energy or there could be like drama in the workplace or a heavy competition um, in some kind of thing that you are doing. So if you're like an entrepreneur, keep working towards it. Because I feel like it's heart-based. It's a heartfelt thing. And the lovers. Wow. Major Arcana 4, Gemini. And the lovers speaks of truth, transparency, vulnerability. 
or a choice or decision from the heart. Vulnerability is the bridge to connection. It doesn't matter what kind of connection it is. And this could be like an internal conflict of opening up. Or there's like some kind of strong pull or strong desire that you have for connection. Or conflict in some kind of partnership. And it's about you making this choice or decision. Or somebody could be testing your patience in some kind of job situation. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. Queen of Cups can also be an empath. So just make sure that you're not absorbing other people's energy. Um, it also gets a bad rep for people pleasing. So making everyone around you here happy Capricorn at the end of the day, um, your cup is empty, right? So always make sure that you're refueling your cup first. And the seven of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And the seven of cups can be choices and options, but it also is scattered energy. Like a roller coaster of emotions cut come in. And it is because of the sensitivity. So if you have an emotional reaction to every single situation here, Capricorn, that comes into your life and it makes you feel uncomfortable, each time you have an emotional reaction to something that doesn't really matter, but you give it meaning. You pull yourself out of alignment. It means you're further and further and further away from what it is that you're trying to manifest. So there's also an energy of like fantasy, illusion, or is this real or is this fake? It's also the pr procrastination card. It's like, listen to your intuition, trust your gut feelings. And if you're dealing with somebody who has mixed feelings or mixed emotions about some kind of connection and this person is making you an option I make this person non-existent like out of sight out of mind like either show up have integrity or you know kick rocks nine of cups nine of cups is like wishes granted wish fulfillment or there's something about emotional sovereignty Joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. Um, creating your own emotional stability. There also could be somebody who is like emotionally codependent on you. And this person could be very moody. So this person gets their emotions. Like the emotions get the best of them. Or your emotions are getting the best of you right now. And it could have something to do with like a commitment or connection or like a Needing to take some kind of new job avenue here. But this internal conflict or having so many choices and options available to you. Let's see what this King of Swords is. Because the King of Swords is the decision maker. So this can also be, like I said, a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney. Like right now, something is not in your hands. And so it's a need for you to just chill out, be at home, focus on what is going well for you. And if this has something to do with like mood swings, like somebody could be quite moody around you. And the Ten of Swords. Wow. Well, there's the decision right there. Ten of Swords is to stick a fork in it. I'm done here. But it's a need to conversate and actually say it. Because here it's like someone's not being transparent here. Or vulnerable. Because here it's like an internal conflict. Like a fear of being vulnerable. A fear of saying the wrong thing. What is meant for you here, Capricorn, won't pass you by. So you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. But this is really high emotions. So when the emotions are running your show, um, 
It could be some kind of fantasy or an illusion that you're feeding into, okay? So just watch that because you need to get honest with yourself here, right? And this is a choice. But somebody is like testing your patience in some kind of work contract here. But here, um, there's a dead end. Dead end situation. And it's just that somebody hasn't expressed this yet. And here, and that could be you. Yeah, five of pentacles, emotionally withdrawn. But this is also abandonment issues, codependency, ill health, mental health. Like somebody's ill health or mental health sometimes is not your problem, but somebody is like making it your problem here. I also feel with this fool, no risk, no reward. And it says the angel of innocence, but this also speaks of purification, starting something new, doing something spontaneous, going with a flow, and not attach or fixated on an outcome. When you attach yourself or fixate on an outcome of how something should go, you will be disappointed every single time. But if you just go with the flow, try something out, let's just say you went on a date and this person didn't call you back, don't fixate on it or ruminate on it, right? Or create some kind of fantasy around this person. Because every time you attach yourself to a person, place, or a situation, that owns you. So when you come from a place of detachment, it means I hold my own power in my own body. And the high priestess, wow, your intuition is strongly pulling you in a direction here. Innocence and empowerment. Or you're being very private and quiet. I feel like you haven't done this just yet. Because the four of wands and the empress. So the empress is about commitment, but it is also you being like your own entrepreneur or doing something solo, or it can be like a CEO. You could be your own boss here, but there's something about cutting out a situation. And I feel like somebody is like upset right here. Or you know that this is going to upset the apple cart, as they say. Yeah, and it's like cutting out one situation and taking something new. This is the right path for you. Yeah, not everything that glitters is gold. That's for dish dash darn sure. This is also mystery or secrecy. Or your intuition is like strongly telling you to take something new. This is a final decision. It's completed. Dead end. And again, this is um, Gemini energy, uh, Aquarius. Some of you have Aquarius and Gemini in your chart. So this is your doings, you know. Abundance planning. This is about writing things down that you are grateful for, but also putting in deposits into your bank. So this is about you putting in a deposit into what you're grateful for. This is also paying yourself first because you matter. And what does this say? Living expenses, education, business, self-development, savings, travel, free time. Keep track of your own finances. Don't shop when you are hungry. <laughs> That's cute. This is also going to some kind of like spiritual retreat. Alone time. Some of you need to be alone just so that you can hear your own thoughts. I feel like, like I said about the peanut gal gallery here, or somebody like is very sensitive 
with what you're doing. But you have one and two. And then you have three, four, five, six, seven, and then ten. And then the zero to the two. So I feel like whatever you're doing, you're this is this is good for you. And you could be very quiet about your business. Like this could be like you already know you're quitting your job. You already have like your money saved up. So even if you up and quit, I feel like there's going to be like a stir of emotions in another person. And creative art. This is also about finding a creative outlet and being by water, but needing more alone time. See how there's too much of um, togetherness? And this can be like a work situation. But if you had some kind of alone time, I feel like you would be like coming back to a situation and then had mixed feelings about it. Like, I, I, I don't know if I want this anymore, right? That's what it feels like. And freedom from some kind of commitment. Right here, there's um, even a decision that's not in your hands. You already know it's finalized. But it just hasn't, like, the paperwork or something hasn't been done. And it could be out of your hands at this time. Fan. Romance, celebration, and party. You could also be meeting this empress at some kind of party or gathering. And then you feel stuck between a rock and a hard place because maybe you already are dating somebody. <laughs> you have a lot of choices here. Beetle, good fortune. Fortune favors the brave. Fool card. Pig, beware of greed. I would also be, we be wary of selfish, greedy people. People who are giving you mixed signals or mixed emotions or creating some kind of an illusion or fantasy and you could be feeding into it. But here, that's why you're like being tested with this person. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. And I feel like that that's the challenge for you. It's like a trigger comes up and you emotionally react. But like I keep saying, your triggers and emotional reactions are on you. So you need to take a step back and be alone and be like, why do I have that reaction and feel triggered by this situation when this person says something. Because really it doesn't matter what they say. You don't have to give it attention or cling on to the emotion. And sometimes we do that. But it pulls us out of an alignment. I psychic ability, trust your intuition right here. It's telling you to take um, some kind of leap of faith or a new path. New job avenue, new relationship, new uh, travel, something. Eggs, success assured with good plans and hard work. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. And I feel like that's the universe testing you, right? Be vulnerable enough to put yourself out there and stop giving a flying flip-flop to the flip of what other people think of where you are going or what you are doing here, Capricorn. Pale, time to get out of a situation. I, I already know that you know this. And younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. This is my snot-nosed pouty brat. This per so person has bad behavior, but if they don't get their way, they react. So remember when I was saying like somebody is like trying to get a reaction out of you? It's a test. But I feel like you have a strong soulmate here or you're feeling conflicted with a job, but it's telling you to get, it, get, out, get away from it. And bull, plenty of material things and tanker, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah, I feel like whatever you're being invited to, go. I feel like you need to get away from some kind of situation or something that's stirring the shish pot or 
upsetting the apple cart, as they call it. And here, um, I would definitely be private and do something new here. And it is going to ruffle somebody's feathers. But this can also be somebody doing this to you, right? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Capricorn, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can see the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.